hip fractures are very common in the elderly population and probably we're looking at 350,000 hip fractures a year. It's an enormous number and the problem is that there's such a high mortality and morbidity rate as a result of those falls. We have a huge number of deaths and in addition folks who lose their independence are not able to return to their own home after they've suffered a fall. Geriatric patients are more at risk for falls due to loss of muscle mass or joint mobility, decreased bone strength, health issues, weakness, medication use or misuse, mental health issues, and poor balance. All of these factors make them more susceptible to fractures of the pelvis and hip. Now the causes of falls are varied. There are some internal or intrinsic factors for falls and there are external as well. When we talk about intrinsic factors that um, facilitate a fall, there are things like if the patient already has dementia, um, they may be disoriented and it may increase their chances of falling or tripping over something. Also patients who take diuretics and have to frequently get up in the night to use the restroom. Think about it, it's darker, uh, we're a little bit less oriented at night and it increases the chance that they may fall.